Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan, and this is your update about the coolest developer news from Google in the last week. The Google Brain team's long-term goal is to create more intelligent software and systems that improve people's lives, which they pursue through both pure and applied research in a variety of different domains. On The Developer Show, we've shared a bunch of links to their work over the last year, but there's so much more. Take a look at this post, linked in the description below, for a review of the progress the team has made in 2016 and some of what may be in store for 2017. The Chrome Media team has created Draco, an open source compression library to improve the storage and transmission of 3D graphics. With it, applications using 3D graphics can be significantly smaller without compromising visual fidelity. For examples and a link to the GitHub, head on over to the post. We recently simplified and improved the merchant experience for those of you who have paid apps, in-app purchases, or subscriptions. Now, these include moving order management to the Google Play Developer Console, adding some improved features, and making payments settings accessible from the Developer Console in addition to payments.google.com. For all the details, check out the post. Google Cloud Key Management Service is now available in beta in select countries. With Cloud KMS, you can manage symmetric encryption keys in a cloud-hosted solution, whether they're used to protect data stored in GCP or another environment. For more on how this fits into the Google Cloud Platform Encryption Continuum and links to get started, check out the post. If you're in San Francisco next month for the RSA conference, stop by our SF office for a series of 20 security talks just up the street from the conference. The schedule of talks is on the post. And now for some API updates. We recently introduced Business Location Insights in the Google My Business API to make it easier for you to programmatically access location insights such as total number of searches, views and actions that let you track and analyze where and how people are finding your business on Google. We've made the coursework endpoints in the Classroom API more robust with additional management capabilities, enabling your app to create and update questions, modify and delete coursework, and add drive items and YouTube videos to coursework and student submissions. For more details on what you can build with coursework, head on over to the post for a cool video and links. Oh, and for you AdWords users, remember to transition to expanded text ads before January 31st, 2017. You may want to start with the best practices and other docs linked on the post in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and share. I'm Timothy Jordan, and I'll see you next week. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of The Developer Show. For some more of our great episodes, check them out right here.